The Tory MP Theresa Villiers has become the latest right-wing guest who went to the GB News studios and complained about their gender-neutral toilets. These are uh, the, the unisex or gender neutral toilets at GB News Studios. This controversy continues to escalate every now and then when you have guests going to uh, GB News. Uh, they, uh, they notice that in the studios, uh, their, their bathrooms are gender neutral. And when you walk in, you've got uh, men and women uh, sharing it at the same time. So when we had uh, recently uh, Teresa Villiers, Tory MP, who was on the political right and she was on the, the vote leave side, who went to um, studios, the GB News studios, as a guest and went to the bathroom to um, put on some makeup and prepare herself. Um, and then she was surprised when some men walked in. And this has become a, a bit of a problem for some people who, want, who go on uh, GB News. And uh, there's a bit, big problem when it comes to all these metropolitan private sector buildings and all these offices share it. Uh, on the one hand, you have some buildings, especially in the hospitality sector, where they become lazy because they're under pressure uh, from the woke cultural side. So they think they have to have uh, gender neutral toilets. Some places, what they do is they leave the men's toilet as men and then they turn the female uh, toilet into, into a gender neutral one because the men's already have the urinals and all that. So they don't really want to change the infrastructure. So they just turn the women's toilet into gender neutral. And that a lot of um, the women complain about it for obvious reasons. And some places, like in GB News, they just turn the whole one toilet into um, the gender neutral by a bathroom with cubicles and everything else. So Guido, uh, boys at Guido, reported this news story uh, about uh, <laughs> Theresa Villiers complaining about the unisex uh, bathroom at uh, GB uh, News. The Chipping, um, uh, Chipping Barnett MP, Theresa Villiers, was on GB News and sent Guido this picture of the gender neutral toilets at the Paddington studio. She was most disconcerted to find men coming in whilst she was uh, touching up her makeup. And then she's saying that this doesn't seem entirely consistent with the GB News's apparent enthusiasm for fighting culture wars. <laughs> and then GB News and Ed Guido made a joke saying, did Ofcom force this upon them too? <laughs> obviously not. And then obviously there was, there was a response, which has been now removed, that GB News source had said, that while it is a single cubicle for guests, so there's no chance that Sue <laughs> Izzard, so Eddie Izzard, could be in there at the same time as Theresa Villiers. Uh, but as I said, there's obviously a lot of issues when it comes to these sort of buildings. But it is quite funny. It's just a funny story because <laughs> a lot of the presenters at GB News are very much on the political right when it comes to these cultural battles. And uh, <laughs> But their studios, <laughs> unfortunately, have gender-neutral toilets. So it's quite interesting. Anyway, I thought we'd... Um, take a break from all the important doom and gloomy stuff in the news and uh, talk about something entertaining we're going to take a break for half an hour we're going to come back and talk to you guys about west streeting of the labor party who we have some uh, recent uh, well the old tweets of him uh, describing women it's not a good thing subscribe to the channel i'm maya tc and we are the media <laughs> 